How you feeling health wise? I feel good. Uh, it wasn't nothing too serious. The few days I missed, uh, it was just needed some rest. I've been trying to practice through it, but I feel I feel fine. Last week, DJ Jones kind of told us one of the standouts in camp that he's noticed was you. So on the other kind of flip side of that, who's been a defensive lineman that's kind of stood out to you going against each other in practice each day? Well, DJ, first of all, is, he's a load having to deal with him every day. Uh, of course, Mike and Deshaun, I've been battling them for two years now, going on you know, three years. But uh, another guy, Draymond, I know everybody talks about Draymond Jones, but he He's, he's going to have a big year. Like his speed, his power, he has the whole the total package. Uh, so they got a good group. So I'm looking forward to watching them play. I'm glad we get to go against them every day, uh, you know, to keep sharpening their iron. But they got a great group. When George Payton signed DJ, he talked a lot about they really want to improve the run defense over last year. What is it about him specifically that kind of makes him a, a, lo a load, like you said, in that area? His get off, because uh, he's coming from San Fran and. What they teach defensively is just getting off the ball, disrupting, uh, you know, the run game you know, quickly. So that's that's the first thing uh, that makes him special. And then his strength, and he has good leverage. He's kind of short, so he can get up under you, and then he's so strong, he's hard to move. But it all starts with his get off. He just disrupts you as soon as you snap the ball. Where do you feel like you've improved the most from last year to this year? Uh, just overall, my game. I I've, uh, feel like I'm in great shape. Not that I wasn't uh, last year, but just in better shape. Um, I feel more confident. Uh, not that I struggled with confidence in the years past, but just uh, going into year three, I just, I've just i seen everything. I've seen everything defense can give me. I've seen played against great players. I know what to expect week in and week out. So, And I know it works for me. Uh, so that, those things are uh, big for me going into year three. I know I have my own routine now. I have you know, my own things I do every single day to get me ready to play every day. Russell's embraced you from like the moment he got here. He brought you out in March to Cali. I think both times you were in Cali. Yeah. Do, is that a is it more of a challenge when you're playing with a quarterback like that in terms of the responsibility you now have, both mentally and physically? Yeah, it's uh, it's both. You know, you can look at it as a challenge. You can look at it as, at as look at it as you know, a little pressure, but. It's just great to have a, a Hall of Future Hall of Fame quarterback behind us. You know, it's high expectations, but you know, wouldn't want anything else. Of course, we want to have these expectations of being the Super Bowl and make it to the playoffs. And that's what comes when you have a guy like that. So, yeah, it's. I mean, it's been great so far. I feel like we've lived up to the challenge in, in practice, and now we have to bring it to the season and put it all together. Lloyd, what are some of the differences with how Coach Barry and the staff, the line staff, teach? compared to the way Coach Munchak and his staff taught? Uh, it's a, a whole different you know, system offensively. Uh, a lot more outside zone, uh, running off the ball. Um, you know, like you guys, you guys know the, the Shanahan system, of San Francisco, you know, that's pretty much what it is. And it's a lot different from what we've done past my first two years. But um, and both, both systems are, are, are great, they both, they both work. But uh, this one is a, a lot different. Uh, we get to show our athleticism a lot more. Uh, and just, you know, get the show we have. I guess I meant how in their teaching styles with oh, teaching well, some of the, yeah. yeah, it's a lot. Munch, uh, Coach Munch is a former player. Uh, Coach Barry is a former player too, so it's a little different approach uh, to, to teaching us in the, in the, in the meeting rooms. But, uh, yeah, both of the great coaches. Coach Barry is a little bit more fired up, uh, as is the most majority of our staff, the younger, fired up, bringing energy every day, both on and off the field. So. Different in those, those ways. Yeah, just uh, make sure you're ready. Just go out and practice hard. You know, make practice feel like a game, and that's what it's really been on these days that we're gonna have today and tomorrow. Uh, when some of these full go days against our defense, you got to make these as much, as game like as possible. I feel like we've done a good job of that, and uh, yeah, I mean, in 2020 we didn't have preseason, and you know, a lot of people in the league played well. So, uh, I'm not saying you don't need it, but um, I don't really think it's that big of a deal to not be playing. And if they want us to play this Saturday, I'm fine. Whatever the coaches want, uh, we're, we're cool with it. Even though it's a different scheme, you've this is your third year with Garrett, third year with with Dalton, second year with Quinn to your right, so. Where is the chemistry and cohesion, and how much do the last couple of years help in, in that area compared to where you were before? Uh, it's great to, to still be with, with Dalton, 
Pierre, and then Quinn going into year two, you know, uh, having those same guys in uh, just helps the chemistry. A lot of times we don't even have to communicate things. We already know what we're thinking. Uh, we can use more cold words and, and dummy calls because we already know, um, you know, how we play and how we communicate. They know how I communicate. So it's great to, to have those guys still in there. Uh, and I think we're just going to keep building. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great year. What's the biggest challenge, Lloyd, in, in, in mastering this outside zone? We haven't seen an awful lot of success the first two weeks with the twos and the threes. So give us a sense for what makes it so difficult. I think, I think it's just it's just trusting the system. It's different from what we've done, but it's obviously it's worked for other teams. We just got to trust the system, uh, trust, the, trust the, the schemes that we have in for the week. And uh, most of the, I mean, if you go back and look at the film the past two weeks, it's, it's really just one or two pieces on every play that kind of blows the whole play up. It's, you know, we have a, a great double team here, and then, you know, somewhere else we may lose, and the play is done. So we just got to put it all together and just trusting what we have in and trusting uh, our techniques in the scheme. All right, thank you. Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks, Thanks Lloyd. Lloyd.